Today I will be demonstrating how to upload learning resource materials, create online task, check online task, input raw score and how to set online meetings via CIAS learning management system. The first thing that a user must do is to open a web browser. A user can use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox but in this demonstration I will be using Google Chrome. The user must now open a web browser. After opening a web browser, the user must open the school's CIAS learning management system, but for my demonstration I will be using our company's demonstration website via icloudph.com slash CIAS. Upon navigating at the school's CIAS learning management system, the web browser will present the login interface of the learning management system. At the CIAS learning management system, the system will present options for a user to log in. The user can log in as an administrator, instructor, student, parent but must have account privileges to log in or access the system. In this demonstration we will first be using an instructor's account for uploading learning resource material. The user must select instructor button and must now enter the user ID and user password. Then click login button. Upon clicking login button the system will present the system's main user interface. The user will now navigate through transactions and select resources option. Upon selecting resource option the system will present the learning resource user interface. Now the user must select a subject for the learning resource material to be uploaded. In order for a user to select a subject the user must select the question mark button. Upon selecting the question mark button the system will present the subject search panel. The user must now select a subject and click OK button. Upon clicking OK button the selected subject will be retrieved and will be presented at the resource user interface. Now the user must click add button. Upon clicking add button the system will enable resource materials fields for code, title and type. Do take notice that the system has automatically generated a code at the code field. This is automatically generated but the user can modify the code based on the user's preferences. The user must now enter the title of the resource material to be uploaded. And select the type of the resource material to be uploaded. The type of resource material has two options. The first option is a reading material and the second option is a video material. Reading materials are the type of material that a student can read, skim or look through in order study. Here are some examples of a reading material while a video material are the type of material that a student can watch in order to study. Here are examples of a video materials. Firstly I will demonstrate how to upload a reading material. The user must select reading type as the type of resource material to be uploaded. Then click the no uploaded reading material logo. Upon clicking the logo the system will present all file types that can be uploaded. Now click browse button to locate the file to be uploaded. After locating the file, select the file and click open button. Upon clicking open button the system will automatically save the uploaded reading resource material. Now I will demonstrate how to upload a video material. Follow the same process shown at reading material but in the resource type the user must select video material. Now the user must go to YouTube to select the video to be uploaded. Upon navigating at the video the user must copy the link of the video, then paste the copied link at the resource material user interface. The user must now click save button to save the video material. Upon clicking save button the system will automatically add the video material. Now we will view our newly saved reading material and video material. Click list button to view the save resource material. After uploading resource material the instructor must organize and arrange the uploaded resource materials for the student to view. And in order for the instructor to do this the instructor must navigate through transactions and select subject modules. Upon selecting subject modules the system will present the subject module user interface. Now the user must select a subject. Upon selecting a subject the system will present all modules uploaded for the subject. But in order for a user to select a subject the user must click edit button. Upon clicking edit button the system will open learning plan panel. Now the user must enter the number of module set. Since there are already two modules uploaded we will set our module number to 3. And now we will search for module set 3 for the resource field and click OK button and lastly click save button. 
Upon clicking Save button the system will automatically save the module set. Now we will add the uploaded resource materials. Follow the same steps shown at Module Set 3, but in the Number field we will set 3.1 for the Reading Material and 3.2 for the Video Material since the modules will fall at Module Set 3. Now we will try to preview our uploaded resource material. Click on the reading material and click preview to view uploaded material and follow same steps for video material. Now that we have successfully uploaded a resource material with an instructor account. We will now open a student account to view the uploaded resources materials. Now the user must go to the school's CAS learning management system. Click Student button then enter the user ID and user password. Then click Login button. Upon clicking Login button the system will present the CAS Learning Management System main user interface for the student account. Now the student must navigate through transactions and select Learning Modules. Upon selecting Learning Module the system will present the Learning Module user interface. Then select the subject Fundamentals of Accounting. Then select Module Set 3. At Module Set 3 the student can now view the uploaded resource materials.